Ladies and gentlemen, Glenn Carlson with a KPI Pro Tip coming at you from Summary, Brisbane. This <clears throat> tip is all about what happens when people want you. Uh, because you're the brand, you've got all the trust, uh, and as a result, people want to be working with you and not your underlings or whatever. Two issues, um, uh, that's why you'll have an issue around that. The first is your product. You don't actually have a product that goes anywhere beyond yourself, and so it makes sense that they want you because how else are you gonna do that, deliver value? When most people start having the issue with this though, uh, is when they do have some products or they do have some team, but no one wants to work with those team. That brings it back to a pitching issue and also potentially subtly a design issue with the business. Um, you've all probably experienced, uh, depending on who's watching this, uh, the way KPI has done it. So Dan and I, very early on, uh, it was never about pitching about us. Uh, it was always about showing how we've brought the aces and we've put them in their places. Uh, and we've incorporated into the pitch that the last thing people want is Dan or my expertise in these particular areas. They want you know, the pitching mentor, the product mentor, the partnership mentor, whatever. As a result, people go, oh, okay, yeah, okay, that is, that is better. It actually makes the product more valuable uh, it delivers a better result because we've brought in specialized components. And I'm saying this doesn't mean you have to actually create a KPI model. Your specialized components could be software, it could be people, it could be consultants, it could be other experts, it could be, you know, whatever it is that you bring in. It could be your employees, it could be a, a, a web developer that specializes in user experience versus, um, uh, versus a web developer that specializes in PHP backend integration. Like, whatever it is, um, you, in your pitch and in the way it's presented, you wanna position those as the best of the best uh, for engineering the specific result that your customers want, which of course you know, because key people of influence know this shit. When you do that, everything starts to change. When you do that, people don't actually want to work with you anyway. They're really excited about working with the components of the team that you've brought together, which separates you from product delivery, often for the first time, and it also creates a scalable model. The moment that the market doesn't want you and would prefer the product that you've created, that's when you can start opening more locations, that's when you can start opening more cities, that's when you can start opening more countries. So remember, it's not about you. Shine the, As a key person of influence, your job is to shine the spotlight on the key people in your organization that have been put in the, in the aces in their places to be able to affect the result for your customers. Do that and you'll stop getting the feedback from the market that they want you above anyone else. That's a pro tip. Enjoy. Crazy. So if you're looking for a sign in terms of how to identify an awesome personal assistant or a virtual assistant, this is what it looks like. She's got a to-do list tattooed to her arm. Uh, I actually saw it on a photographer and uh, she was really funky and I've always wanted it and I use it every single day. That is so cool. <laughs>